Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when you're unable to play Forza Horizon 5 game on your computer. And if you are receiving this error, that is load failed and unknown error occurred, please try again later. To fix this error message, run Forza Horizon 5 game as an administrator. So make a right click on Forza Horizon exe file, then click on run as administrator. And that should go ahead and fix the error message. Now, also make sure that you're logged in as an administrator on your computer so go to settings go to accounts and make sure that you are an administrator now if you are not an administrator then you can run this command so copy this command this command is provided in the video description copy it and then type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow now paste the command over here and then hit the enter key now once done lock your computer so go to the login screen so press windows plus l on the keyboard which will take you to the login screen now on the login screen on the bottom left here you can see administrator so select administrator and then log into the computer Now once logged in, you can launch the game and that should go ahead and fix the error. Still you are receiving the error, error message, in that case run this command. This command is also provided in the video description. Type in cmd, make a right click on command prompt app, then click on run as administrator, click on yes to allow. Now paste the command over here, hit the enter key and now try to launch the game. Now still you are receiving the error, in that case you can start all these services, so type in services in windows search box and then click on services now find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper make sure startup type is set to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok start all the xbox services at the end here you can see all the xbox services make a double click on all the xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok make a double click again set it to automatic apply ok Make a double click, set it to automatic, apply, click on start if highlighted, then click on OK. Set it to automatic, apply, start, OK. Now do the same thing with Windows Update. Make a double click on Windows Update, set it to automatic, apply, start if highlighted, then click on OK. Now find gaming services. Make sure gaming services are running over here. If not running, make a right click, then click on start. Now now find microsoft store install service make a double click on microsoft store install service set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted then click on ok now try to launch the game now the last step is to run this powershell command so copy this command type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell then click on run as administrator click on yes to allow paste the command over here hit the enter key and let the process complete now during this process you will receive some errors in red color so just ignore these error message and let the process complete now once the process is complete you can close this box once this is done at the end you will see only you will only see red colors errors so once this is done you can close this window and then launch the game also make sure gaming services is installed in computer so if you don't find gaming services in that case open microsoft store go to library over here on the bottom left and then click on get updates over here so if there is any update for gaming services it will go ahead and install it so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error but still you are receiving the error message and uh, your game is still crashing in that case copy this link uh, this link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to my youtube website i i made a separate video for this so you can go ahead and follow the steps from this video so one of the steps should definitely help you to get rid of this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel